Hey guys, what's up? It's Queenie here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're not, thank you for coming back and joining me again. I obviously look a little different today. And as you guys can see from the title, we are going to be testing something out, black or not, or whoever. If you have curly hair, I don't know if other people use this, honestly, but if you have curly hair, you guys know what a hot comb is, right? So today I'm going to be testing out a new high-tech straightening hot comb from 2030. Like, I don't even know what this is because I'm used to those raggedy metal hot combs that would burn the out of your scalp, you know? So people got used to the flat iron and using um, a comb with it. So today I'm going to be testing out something new that is a hot comb, a straightening comb that is nothing like I've seen before okay so this is available on Amazon and I'll have all the details down below but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like the details of this hot comb and then we'll go ahead and test it out on this kinky curly fro because if it can get through this it can do anything so this is the comb this is the hair straightening comb as you guys can see it has like um two layers of combs there's one on the outside and then some on the inside it's kind of hard to see but it's layered, so I guess the inside part is what carries most of the heat. And then it has this really sleek handle, so you have a lot of space to hold it and you don't burn your hand if you get it around this part. And it also has these buttons where you can adjust the heat. And this is the on button and these flash depending on if you're going up or down, so we can adjust the heat. I'm gonna do the highest heat so we can see how well it straightens out kinky curly hair. And in the box, it also comes with these heat gloves, so you can protect your fingers just in case. And it also comes with these clips, so you can hold your hair in place while you're working on it. And then after you're done with the straightener, it comes with this cute little bag. So let's get to straightening this hair, and I will show you guys how it works how well it works and if it is type 4 hair approved because if this can do like the hot combs from back in the day, we have a winner. So basically what I'm going to do is leave my hair as it is. I'm not going to blow it out. I know last time that I worked on this unit, I did blow it out. This time I'm not going to blow it out. It's dry. I'm just going to brush it out and stretch it as much as I can and just comb through it with the straightening comb because I want to test how this would work. And you guys know that I don't always like going for that super straight, sleek look because if that's what I wanted, I would probably just wear a wig. There's no sense in burning the crap out of your hair just to get a bone straight look. I'd rather just put on a wig. So what I'm going to go for today is straight-ish, blow-out, esque kind of look just a natural straight look so i'm gonna see how straight this device can actually get my hair so let's just plug this in i'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes so it can get fully fully hot so i believe it's on okay so i have to turn it on if i turn it off this is what it looks like it just has that blue flashing light i'm assuming that means that it's plugged in and then if i turn it on all those three buttons light up and you can bring it down to show the different temperatures but I'm gonna bring it all the way to the top just like that I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we will be back to see how it feels okay so as it is warming up I'm just gonna look at the details of this straightening comb and see what it claims to do and so on the box right away it tells you there's five different temperature levels so it goes from 466 Fahrenheit to 410 60 second fast heat up okay so I'll just give it a few more minutes and then we can get right into this okay so it's pretty self-explanatory you turn it on you move it to the temperature that you would like and then you section your hair into pieces and then you apply the brush through your hair strands so I'm actually gonna try a piece in the front just to do a little test and the reason I am doing it on this wig is just to see to what capacity that this straightener can work on so I'm just going to comb this out fully and as I mentioned obviously this is not blow dried but I'm going to test this out it stopped flashing so it should be fully hot and it's only been like what two minutes so oh it went right through quickly whole straighten this it took me like 
ages because I had to blow dry it and then flat iron. Okay, then maybe my flat iron is just garbage because what in the work? Oh. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. You see how I was talking and yeah, I was like, <laughs> what? Okay, so, <laughs> do you guys remember how long, how much work I had to do to get this straight last time? Okay, wow. Okay, so I guess, I guess we're just, we're doing this and this is gonna work, I guess. Okay, so you guys saw that with one swipe, it got super straight, so. I'm gonna do the same thing and another thing that I wanted to talk about is how this supposedly does not get caught in hair Wow so instead of detangling even it's almost easier to comb my hair out with this oh my goodness okay so the challenge for me is to make sure I get the roots but because it is a comb it easily can be brushed through Wow I'm actually gonna fly through this You know what, I think for honestly, for curly hair, this might be better than a flat iron because it gets through your strands and it actually straightens it as opposed to just flattening your hair. What? It goes all the way in and then it goes through these two layers. And straightens just like that. Ooh. And I'm getting deep into these roots and it is straightening them out nicely. So yeah, this part doesn't get too hot. It does get quite warm. So you can put on, okay. So yeah, it's the inner layer combs that get really hot. So this part isn't as hot. So it keeps your hands a bit safer. Ooh, but this is hot. I feel like for 410 degrees, it feels very hot, but I guess because it's a comb, it just gets into your hair a bit better. Whew, wow. Wow. And the nice part is because of this little double layering, there's no way you can burn your scalp with this. I mean, if you really, really try, but you're not accidentally burning your scalp with this. Wow. Let's see how, how long it is. I'm halfway through and it has been less than 30 minutes. Less than 30 minutes and I'm halfway through. Less than 30 minutes I was able to get halfway through this hair. So with my hair, it'll obviously be a breeze. And if you have hair similar to this, still a breeze. I'm gonna keep going and we're gonna work all the way up to the front and then we can talk. here um, the roots are still puffy so I'm gonna go in super close and get them nice and straight Whew. okay so my hair is basically fully straightened I'm going to secure it on my head I'm gonna clean up this part with some plucking and concealing and I'm gonna go through and kind of get rid of any kinks that I see, just like that. Like that. And the same on this side. Wow. Okay, so it has been a little bit over an hour. I believe an hour and like 15 minutes. 
Okay, so I don't even know what to say. This is amazing. Okay, so this hair is naturally very puffy and fluffy, but you guys can even see from the last video I did when I straightened this hair, um, I spent hours on it, blow drying and straightening it, and it did not even turn out like this. I feel like I can definitely say, drum roll, that this is type four hair approved. After all of that, I was able to get this done pretty quickly. I feel like genuinely this is the best electronic hair tool I have ever used. This is the best hair tool, like I said, that I feel like actually works for me for real, for real, and it's not something I just make work. There are a few tools that I can genuinely say that have natural girls in mind and that keep us kind of in the loop without having to make us um, figure other things out kind of like with a flat iron we usually use a comb to like chase with it just to make it extra straight but with this you kind of have both of that in one so I really appreciate that and I feel like because of that this obviously caters to more hair types than um, a flat iron personally but and in the instructions it also says you can curl with this I want to give this a bit of a flip so I'm going to go like this Oh, oh, okay, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm gonna go underneath and curl this way. Ooh. Yes, I'm gonna hold it here for a sec as it says and just curl it in. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, okay, so I don't even know what to say. So that is basically it for this video. So I hope you guys actually found this interesting and I try to use my own discretion to decide what I should bring on this channel that you guys would actually like. And I know um, not everything works perfectly and not everything gives the best results, but I try to be very specific and look at things and say, will this actually work so I don't come on here and waste people's time? So this is it. Um, I'm very impressed. I was hoping this would work. I was a little bit skeptical, I will be honest, because a lot of tools are really difficult to get through kinky curly hair and a lot of times we have to just kind of manage with mediocre results and I will say that this is better than I ever expected. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All the details to this hair straightener will be in the description box and um, you can find everything there. If you have any questions, comment down below, thumbs up this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated and I, connect, I can connect easily with you guys and you can message me if you have any questions. Please be patient. Sometimes it takes me a while to get through everything, but I will get to it and I try to at least. Thumbs up this video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!